Okay then gang, so there's one more thing I want to do in this Riffopod tutorial before we finish up and that is to output the number of items currently in the cart inside this little blue circle right here. So to do that we don't need to make any kind of new provider or anything, we can just use a provider we already have, the cart provider inside the cart icon widget because that provider gives us a set of products that are currently in the cart so what we could do is just use the length property on that set of products to get the total amount of products in the car and then just output it in that blue circle, right? So let's give this a whirl. So then up here at the top, we are going to change this stateless widget to a consumer widget. Remember to do that. That's something I often forget to do. When we do that, we get an error here in the build function because remember now we can have a second argument, which it expects. So that is a widget ref called ref. Inside this build method now, we can use that to watch the cart notify provider. So I'll say final and then number of items in cart. Oops, good grief. In cart and then set that equal to ref.watch. And we want to watch the cart notifier provider. Click on this to auto import it. And then once we have that, we can just grab the length property from it at the end of it. Okay, so now we can use this down here. Let me copy that inside the template somewhere. So what we'll do is give this a child, this container. So after the decoration, we say child. And that child is going to be a text widget where we're going to output the number of items in the cart. Convert that to a string because it is an integer and this expects a string as an argument. We also want to apply a style to this. So let's do that. I'm going to close this to give us more room. And this is a text style right here inside that text style all i want to do is give this a color which is colors dot white like so all right and it's complaining and i think it's because this should be a constant right here let's do that save it and now we can see up here five so it's outputting the number of items in the cart we can verify that by looking here yeah five let's remove some items goes down to four then three and where's the other removes two one and zero and then when we add to cart it goes up one two three four five awesome so this my friends is all working okay then my friends so that is pretty much the end of the series but i do want to stress that this series really just kind of touched the surface of what flutter river pod can do for us Hopefully now, though, you feel confident enough to pick it up yourself and then learn more about it. Also, I will hopefully be doing more tutorials about it in the future, especially when it comes to performing asynchronous tasks and fetching data. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. So then my friends, I really, really hope you enjoyed this series and you learned something along the way. If you did, please, please, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot. And if you want to access all of my YouTube courses without adverts, also get access to premium courses and early access courses as well, you can do at netninja.dev. You can sign up for NetNinja Pro, which is just $9 a month and also half price for the first month with this promo code right here and for that like i said you get access to every course without adverts without youtube adverts you also get access to exclusive courses not found anywhere else you get access to my premium courses on udemy and also early access to all of my youtube courses as well so the link to this page to sign up is going to be down below again i really hope you enjoyed this series and i'm going to see you in the very next one